Welcome to this video. Alfredic. And we have a 15 minutes game. And let's play a Nimzo Indian defense. Or a Queen's Indian. Depends on if he plays knight c3 or knight f3. Okay, so we have a Queen's Indian. He has several ideas here now, like a3, g3, knight c3. Hmm. Can play bishop before now. Although I don't like b6 that much then. Shouldn't I just play bishop b7 and play for the square e4? Maybe bishop b4 anyway next. Huh. I can play d5. Oh, I almost mouse slipped to d6. That would be uh, not so good. Mm. So I'm knight d2, uh, knight d7 next. Bishop e7. Or should I play bishop b4? I think I just play very calm. Um, so now I have um, the two hanging pawns formation, so to say. If I play c5, he takes, takes, and there are two pawns which are not protected by other pawns anymore, but they would have control over many, many squares in the opponent's uh, camp. Mm. Just wonder where I put my bishop now. Let's play h6 first. And then thinking about bishop d6 also. Well, I think bishop e7 is simple and good. And then I uh, I push for c5 in the right moment. And just castle, put a rook on c8, put a rook on e8 maybe. Mm. more like a positional game we have now uh, but dynamic I also like White's position I think he's a bit better in this position can put Rook also on c1 yes exactly should I play c5 now I think I can castle And then I play c5, maybe rook c8. I want to keep the rook on a8 for the time being because knight b5 would also take the, the pawn on a7. I want to be more flexible. But here I think I just play c5. I need to move it anyways. The only waiting move I can do is rook e8. But this rook might also be better on c8. Let's play c5. Maybe a6 next, but I don't want to weaken my position here. The, the pawn on b6 would be weak then. Um, I also wonder if I could play knight e4 in the right moment. Maybe even g5 and then knight e4. Expanding a bit on the king's side. 
I have enough pieces to protect my king, so uh, I think a sacrifice here would not work. Wonder why he didn't castle. So rook c8 is one option and another one is rook e8 and another one is g5 and knight e4 later on. Aha! So he's really attacking me here. So now I can play maybe g5, but I don't want to. So it would be easy for him to, to open up the h file afterwards with h4. Um, here I can play maybe a simple knight e4. He didn't castle, so maybe I can open up the center I'm better developed. I think this was premature. What does he want to do with his king? He can't castle long. So maybe I can do something here. I also have ideas now like rook e8 and sacrifice on f2 with a, mm -hmm. with a knight. If he castles short, there are some weaknesses now around his king. Maybe you can play f5 immediately. So now the game is more like in the center and on the king side, and the queen side is not that important. So the rook on c1 is also, I think, not doing that much now. Mm. Can I play? Knight f2 immediately? No. f5 is really maybe an option. What is he doing? So he wants to play queen c2? It's very slow. I have bishop a6 maybe also in the right moment. Yes, he, he can take on c5, okay. But he opens up this diagonal also if he takes on d5. Let's say he takes here. Huh. What is his idea? I can take here, and if he takes with a pawn, I have. He can't do it, so if he takes with a knight, I have. Knight c5. On the other hand, the queen is quite good on d4, maybe. Hmm. All right, so knight e6, is this an option? Pawn on e5 is weak. But it's, I think, very dangerous to take. What about b4? I can take on c3 also. Not anymore, but... Where should I put my queen? Huh. 
Aha, there are not that many squares because knight c7 is threatening. Should I take and then play rook d8, winning some time? I'm a pawn down, but I'm more active and his king is not safe. So, but I didn't really like to take this knight, but the knight was very, very strong there. Hmm. Why is he thinking so long? He just needs to take on d5, right? This is strange. Okay, I have queen f6, then I attack the, the knight f3, and I attack the pawn on b2. I think I will do this. <laughs> Maybe I have some tricks with knight forks later on also. Knight fork on c3. Let's say. Take. I mean, why? Why? Why is he waiting? I. I think queen d five is the only move. Isn't it? What else? B four. Hmm. But this bishop is so strong. He needs to take the bishop. Yeah, that was a strange thing. So I'm threatening to take on a three. And if he moves the knight, f2 is hanging. And I also have queen b2, rook is attacked. This didn't help, I thought, because I just take here. And still the knight is hanging. And also the the rook is hanging after b2. But he can castle then. Hmm. Now it's with check. This is strange. Do I have rook d8, rook d2? Takes, 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 mate. Ooh, the knight is hanging. Huh, this is how to lose a game. So if I take on b2, he needs to play knight d2. I take, take, and then I have rook f, I don't have rook f2. Ah. What a pity. On the other hand, I have this fork I talked about all the time. I have knight c3. I mean, like three or four moves ago, I said maybe there is a fork on c3 later on, and here we go. Yeah, I'm winning. So I need to play knight d2. And now I have knight c3. Do I have something better? Maybe take on f2. If he takes, then rook d8. I'm taking on d2 later on. Hmm. I think this is just, uh, you know, simple and good, so I play it. 
it's a clean exchange with no compensation I think and his king is still very shaky and I have rook d8 now uh, on the agenda as well so should be an easy win and I have a lot of time my king is totally safe I just need to, to find some good squares for my rooks yeah but let's say rook d8 next an end game is good for me so we can exchange queens also but I think I will I will keep the queens because his, uh, his king is uh, so loose well here I can play queen c2 and I think this is just winning because the knight is attacked okay maybe he can play king f3 ha <laughs> All right. So I put my queen maybe on c6 later on, the other rook to e8. I don't want to let him out here, so queen c6 next doesn't matter what he he's playing right so I play Queen c6 so he can't move his knight and then I play rook e8 maybe I play even f5 hmm. okay I can't play f5 anymore I can play g6 f5 also later on so now he's threatening knight f6 this is nice but as said I want to Pin him. I can also just take here. And then I play queen d5. Exchanging queens, running with the pawns, and arguing that there is no counter play for, for white. There's also no knight f6 nonsense, so. He needs to get his rook into the game, which is not that easy. Maybe rook c1. But then I exchange queens. Play queen d5. Yeah. Okay, so. Here we go. Where do you want to go, my lady? If he moves the screen, I have f5. Just open up the f file. That's what I want to do. So the only move is queen f4, yeah, but now I have this one. We're just winning on the spot, I think. can't move his knight because of a pin and if he takes here I have rook f5 and winning his queen can't do anything about it so I expect a resignation and I'm pretty happy with this game so He just resigned. Thanks for watching.